What's up everybody, I'm 720p here and today I'm going to be showing you how to create and run your own Minecraft server. Uh, first thing you're going to want to check in, make sure you have is at least 2 gigs of RAM on your computer. If not more, more is actually recommended. My computer has 8 gigs of RAM and it runs it just perfectly fine. Um, I will have the download for Craft Bucket in the description for you and the first thing you're gonna wanna do is just create a folder on your desktop somewhere doesn't matter just name it server or test server uh, it's just gonna be empty and whenever you download craft bucket you know, throw it in there like that okay now that you have craft bucket in there you're gonna go right click and go down and to new and create a new text document and just name it whatever you want but I'm gonna name mine start server because that's pretty much what it's gonna do and once you have that text document you're just gonna go ahead and open it because we have to change the document type okay I will have this code here in the description for you to just copy and paste and go ahead and throw it in your server starter this is gonna allow your um, server to be started through your computer and then you're gonna go to file save as all files and then you're gonna go to your file name and put a dot dot bat at the end that turns it into a batch file that way it can run in your cmd go ahead and shut that out you can delete the text uh, text file and hit that and it's gonna run and it's gonna prepare your spawn area first uh, it shouldn't take too long it takes maybe a minute at the most if you guys like this video please thumbs up and if you don't you can thumbs down if you want but I'm just trying to help people because I've gotten a few messages on asking how do you make a server for you and your friends to play on this is a bucket server this is the most widely known server uh, this is the one that people can put their own mods in like uh, you can actually use fly mod on the server and a lot of servers now you can't do that and after it has uh, prepared spawn area 93% and then it goes to done you just close that out and what you're gonna wanna do next is open your server properties I use notepad plus plus but you can do it with notepad no biggie and you're gonna spawn monsters if you want to make sure online mode is true spawn animals sure you can put the max players you want don't put anything in the server IP uh, PvP if you wanna allow people to kill each other tell them to go right ahead level C uh, uh, if you want a certain map I guess you can throw a level seed in there no no big deal there either uh, whitelist if you want one there go ahead if not just you can just close it down and for plugins, I will be showing you how to do that in the next video I do in this series. Uh, but to actually run the server and everything, the first time you ran the start server right here, uh, it was to set everything up. This time you're going to run it, and it's going to prepare everything like you want it to. And I'm just going to go ahead and open my Minecraft, and I'm going to show you how to log on as the admin and you're just gonna click log in I got my login information in there and at 40 might as well go ahead and wait till this is at a hundred percent anyways because you can't really do anything until it's done but on the multiplayer you're gonna your IP you're not gonna type anything in you're just gonna type in local host that way it knows it's running off of your computer and once it's done you're just gonna click connect logging in downloading terrain and seem to download pretty fast and I'm going to change my fog um, you can try it a few times to find us to find a map that you want the um my minecraft's lagging so I'm just going to go ahead and exit out of the minecraft but if you did notice that uh I tried to break this block and it'll reappear in a second because I'm using Camp Stage. It lags it a little bit. 
Never mind, maybe it doesn't disappear. But anyways, uh you will now I'm gonna show you how to get people online with you. And you notice over here it said that I disconnected. Okay, what you're gonna do, open your internet browser like so. Go to a new tab, go to Google. And go to I yeah. Go to IP Chicken, and it'll be the first one. It'll say, "What's my IP?" And this is the IP that you will give your friends. I'm not positively sure that it has to have the um the at the end of it for people to log in let me find a text document real quick and I will show you what I'm talking about just trying to make this open the way I have a big enough font you might have to put two, the colon 25565 at the end of your thing if you do it's fine if not doesn't matter one of those two will work but in order for people to join you have to have your server your server start file online or people cannot join your server people don't realize that that is the only reason your server is up I can be logged on to the server if I close this file out it's gonna kick me off okay uh, well thanks for watching everybody if you liked it thank you uh, if you didn't uh, better look next time uh, thumbs up this video guys I want to get it out there and let people know about it because I'm tired of getting messages asking how to do it how to do it how to do it this is how to do it so subscribe love you guys um, I will be making a tutorial on how to get plugins and mods on your server after say 20 thumbs ups maybe or so many comments 25 comments or 20 thumbs up or both um, if you do both I'll give you a special alright I'm out of here guys peace